get turned up, we get turned up, we get turned up, and with my friends, we get turned up, we get turned up. Hey guys, Quartz here, back with uh, another Let's Play. Today we're going to be playing, uh... Bloons Tower Defense 6. Alright. So, I'm going to go here and just start up a new game, man. Alright. Let me see. Alright, I, th I consider this a pretty good spawn. Uh, already on round 18. Which is kind of tough, but we'll make do, man. We'll make do. See that sniper monkey has been placed in great position as for its limited range. Getting the most out of its capabilities probably could have been placed here. However, that's fine. Engineer monkey obviously going throughout the best path. Uh, top path sentry expert. That's what we're looking for, of course. That's what we're looking for. Uh, I don't know what blood's doing down there. Banana farmer. A great time. Uh, all right. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. And of course, we're playing on the most difficult setting. Uh, impoppable. So. You know it's pretty hard. Uh, it's hard out here. It's hard out here. Um, I'm hard out here. Uh, but you know what we don't have? We don't have any farming, and I've got to make some money. So I'm gonna start this. Oh shit! There's a lot of red balloons. Well, that's fine. That's fine. We're good. Um, obviously. Engineer monkey sweep. Ah, that's what we're looking for. Probably need some camo detection here pretty soon. So, I'll go with a uh, ninja monkey, of, of course, placed near the front so that way it can get as much, like, it can kill them as fast as possible. Uh, target camo, because that's what we're looking for. And we're just going to need it to hand out L's as fast as it possibly can and as to as many people. So we're going to go with the uh, top path balloon jitsu. Probably the best choice. If you haven't seen the crushing century is just put in God's work here. Um, this is why we play, man. Game on. Uh, I mean, geez. The banana farm is making us some dough right now. That's what we like to see. We're gonna need some big money. We're gonna need some big, big money. Um, I wish it would produce a little bit faster, but unfortunately, they have never. Oh, I. I thought I was gonna get some money for that, which is kind of unfortunate, but that's okay. You know, we really need to up this engineer monkey, like, pretty fast. Uh, let me find out about this. I'm trying to, trying to get some help here, but it doesn't want to help me out, so I'm going to have to take this to alternative means. Uh... Let me see here. Gonna need some water coverage. And then... Cause you know round 40 is really hard. Um, so I gotta think a bit of strategy here. I'm gonna need some water coverage for whenever the water balloons come out. Um, and I'm thinking probably sub monkey. But we're not going to need any upgrades for it just yet. So we'll place that smack dab in the middle. And probably give this the barb darts and twin guns. So this will be good. 
Uh, yeah. I think the sniper monkey is doing pretty good right now. Uh, for its cost, sniper monkey, of course, being the one of the cheapest monkeys in the game. Uh, I think it's really doing quite well for itself. Obviously, everybody's playing their part. Even the banana farmer. That's what you love to see, man. We're looking pretty good. Look at him solo, man. That's insane. This is why we love this sniper monkey. Uh, and by the way, just a, just a, a pro tip, if you would. Um, the bottom two paths of the engineer monkey are always horrible. They don't really do anything. They're trying to like scam you with that, which I think is kind of like, a, I think it's kind of cheap by Ninja Kiwi to try and do that by adding like completely inviolable options to the game. But I don't know, man. Ask Ninja Kiwi, I didn't make this game. I think it's kind of stupid. All right, I think for the last round, it's a big round coming up. I say we gotta farm a little bit, and then oh, we can't upgrade anything. So I think the most strategic option we can do here is to place down as many dart monkeys as we can on the map, so that way we can get max efficiency. And let's go. All right, you saw it right here yourself. Victory, impoppable um, on the four corners map. Just, just a really good game. Played really, really well all around. All around uh, 12,200 pops, that's the most pops that you can possibly get, and a thousand cash generated too. And Pop the Moab, of course, highlighted here. Really good game. Um, sadly, at this time, I can't, I can't go into free play. Uh, the time is not allotted for that. However, I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. Uh, see you in the next one. Gaming-ing, game on.